going to just choose, if you're looking at that, I'm only going to choose four moments in the whole poem. If I were doing the whole poem, I'd probably play all the way through it. But you don't have time to do it all if you do a test time. But anyway, we're just going to go through a couple. Okay, just to, to show you how we can lead this out and the types of questions I might ask uh, to learn from this poem. <coughs> so, the first event of the quote I'm taking um, when it said two roads diverged. So you can write that in the box. What's happening and what technique is that? What's a road? It's a type of metaphor. Okay? So we're already in the band 60-70%. If you can tell me a story, what's happening in the story when he when he begins? Two roads diverge in the yellow wood. And so I cannot take both. What's he doing? Must make a choice. Okay? And I have on my paper, it's the universal dilemma. Yeah? He has to make a choice in life. I read one thing where he had to decide, he was deciding between one thing and becoming a poet. One thing I read that he wrote. He, want, he didn't know. There's not many people who to be poets. It isn't a way of making a lot of money. Uh, I chose to be a teacher. And my dad said, what the hell for? I go, you're not going to make any money. I said, I know. <laughs> but it was to help, help people learn. So I had to make a choice. <laughs> yeah. So with this metaphor, what's his sort of, what's the feeling you get from him? Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. What kind of, what kind of feeling are you getting here? Good. Are you saying confused? Confused? Anything else? This is personal now, by the way. I could tell you an answer, but I, what I'm trying to do is help you learn how to come up with your own ideas by yourself, for yourselves. You don't want me to tell you the answer, do you? Not very, what tone am I getting here? <laughs> Maybe. I tell my kids in your book, you don't want me to do your HSC papers and tests for you. No, we do. I go, no, you don't. You don't want somebody else solving your, make, who do you want making your choices for you? Now there was Tom. <laughs> me, that attitude, okay? Do you want your mommy and daddy making your attitude, your questions, your decisions for you? Your teachers making decisions for you? Be careful, they're watching. <laughs> So what new tone is there? You see, um, I've had some answers like fear, um, wonderment. He's kind of struck with awe. Oh, wow, there's two two roads here. I can take. Whatever mood tone feeling you have, okay, you're allowed. I don't know if I accept thinking it was funny. I don't know, okay? I don't see a lot of humor here, but that's up to you. But I have to know what you are feeling. If you come to have to create a story, so I'm doing learning and responding, when you respond, you have to write something or give a speech or talk. You are trying to create a mood tone. Hmm. Where is that tone? Is that between, this is Robert Frost talking, is it between him and his world, or who is he talking to? Hello. 
Um, so what's the decision kind of about? What's his relationship? Is he's trying to make a decision about his future. So there's two directions. There's two directions. He's talking about trying his relationship with his future. Every choice you make is going to put you into the future. Yeah? So we're thinking about this future. Okay. Now we come to meaning. What can I learn from this story? What can I learn so far about choices and decisions? What do you learn about choices? Does his tone sound... I thought it was very serious. He's confused, but he knows it's serious. Pardon? It's curious. Oh, I like curious. Write that down. That's your. Look, you're ready to write again. No, no, no. Okay. It's, she, she, he's kind of curious. What do you think he's curious about? Where he's going to go? So the choices and decisions are important for for our future. That's, is that universal? Is that different to you, to me, to anybody you know, for the dog or cat you have? The choices they make are going to be important for their future. You could go deeper. You could go deeper. I'm just can you see how I'm moving out further and further? Now we come out to here. There's a journey involved. All right, so I'm, if I had time, right at the beginning, I'd tell you, what is a journey? Did your teacher talk about that? What is a journey? Okay, it's a movement from A to B. Is that movement physical? Good. Is it emotional? Can be. What is this journey? This is a hard question. Only a few are going to be able to come up at the higher range. Okay? Anybody not understand my Oh, if you don't understand my question, you got to tell me. That means I'm not... I, I'm a self blamer If I'm not asking, if you're not getting it, it means I'm not asking the right question. I'm trying to learn how to ask better questions myself as a teacher. I want to be a good teacher. I'm just trying to find out what questions can I ask and be better at. So what's the big idea? What's what's the big idea here about journeys? Just so far. If you're going to go from A to B, what role does a choice have in that? Determine the journey. I learned that from you. I don't know if you agree with that. You, don't, you can disagree. Does that make sense? Whatever decision you make is going to determine the very journey you're going to be on. What if you decide not to make a choice? Because you don't want a journey. I once went on a big journey. I wanted to understand America, so, and I don't recommend this to anybody. But I went on a hitchhiking trip. And I hitchhiked all the way up California, Oregon, Washington, into Canada. I hitchhiked across Canada, down across down to New York, and then all the way back to America. 
and I went on a journey. That was a physical journey. Is this a physical journey? Could be, yeah. He's talking about a road, I guess he's a road. What kind of journey is this? Huh? Emotion. Good. And we'll just put emotion here. And if you notice, I'm not giving you answers. I may be putting it up on the board, but I'm just trying to see, I'm learning from you guys. Does that make sense? For me to teach, I'm learning. I'm not going to sit here and just feed off. Uh, if you don't know these things like up on these levels, I have to tell you. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got to kick in somewhere with these questions. So why should I know that in my life? about my life. Okay, I don't fill this in for people. Maybe. Because this is this is what's going to find out why what do I want to apply so far in my life. Um maybe I should add something. Can I just say with this two rows diverge in this who is making the choice? Okay. <clears throat> Why is it important for you to make a choice? Why is it, sorry? Why is it important for you to make a choice rather than mommy and daddy or someone else? To be in charge of one's journey. You fill it in. Who do you want to be in charge of your journey? No. <laughs> Why? See, we we go off the board. You know, off into the big black space. Are you getting the idea of how I we've gone from there to there? Does that make sense so far? Have I? Does that make sense? Does it seem hard? My principal says whenever he gets, when we go to these conferences, the first thing he says, look everybody, what Mr. Woods thought of, it's not rocket science. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. And it shouldn't be. Yeah, it's just part of learning a process of how do I learn? Not just what you learn. Who do you want to be in charge of your learning? I hadn't asked that question. Why? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> put me on the spot. That's out here. Yeah. And some things are more important than others. And we're going to find out why that's important when we get down to about here. You see how I will be funneling through deeper and deeper. I don't know all the answers. I know some good questions, but I don't know all the questions and answers to life. Right? And, and Frost thought of it. The next one. I like the complication is long eyes to it. <coughs> and it's uh, narrative voice. Very conversational. It just sounds like he's talking, doesn't it? Um, first person. So, what's the story behind this? Long eyes to it. What's he doing? Thinking. Tone, and you're actually 
We went to that, contemplated. Contemplated. What other tones can we come up with? Long I stood. And it's the whole poem, it's the whole flavor of this poem. Pardon? Okay, yes, he's deciding, but how? What's he doing? He's contemplating in order to decide, and I gave an answer away. Anyway, what's another, what's another tone? Wonderland. He's wondering. You know, the little kids wonder. Warning, when you guys get older, I hope you don't lose it. <laughs> but to be in wonder. I felt this feeling of reflection. He's reflecting. Yeah? So, what is this feeling? What is this doing on his relationship? What's he doing when you're reflecting, when you're in wonder? He's basically <coughs> opening to himself. We could go deeper here. Um, what's he, what do you think he's trying to do? He's got two ways to go. What's he wondering about? Which is the better way? Yeah, so that, that word contemplated is very important. So he's sort of weighing up. Comparing. Eventually, what you'll have to learn is what he is really weighing up on, perhaps, what you'll have to talk about are the values. What values there are that he wants to live by. Like a lot of you, you're going to go to year 12. Which one are you more interested in, in your decision that you're going to do the HSC or not? Because you'll still have a choice. Why, why will you want to do the HSC? To get a good mark? Or to find out how you can learn better? There are two different values. Okay? And deciding on these values, there are two basic values. One, what we call intrinsic, one is extrinsic. For instance, this watch. I think it costs $165. I talked them down for $230. It's solar power. I can surf in it. It's a great light for underwater. It has two world times, so if I go back to America, I can put it on that time. I can put 30 telephone numbers in it. I like the watch. All that is extrinsic value. That's what it's worth on the outside. That's like going for a good HSC mark. But my kids gave it to me for Father's Day. Does that put a different <coughs> value on it? Yeah, it's got that emotional feeling about it. So when you go on a journey, you're trying to decide on these values. Why am I doing this? What are the values I want to live by? Again, who do you want in charge of that? So, this meaning, you know, it gets a little harder. In making choices, what are we trying to do? What do we need to do? What is he teaching us about making choices? What do we need to do when we make choices? So, sorry. And, okay. How do we do that? What's he doing? You're right. You're exactly right. Huh? Okay. You're thinking about it, and when you're thinking about it, what are you doing? Pardon? So what do you got to do? Okay, when you're going to compare. 
<laughs> okay. How? How? How are you doing that? What are you doing right now? Pardon? <laughs> I can't give an answer. As I'm talking, what are you doing? Ah, okay, that. That's okay. Whoa, it went better than you. <laughs> we jump the mark. Okay. In order to learn, we have to listen. So who is he listening to? Ah. Is that what you said? Making choices requires listening to oneself. If you're talking and trying to listen at the same time, I guarantee you, you're not going to learn it. You can't talk and listen at the same time. Well, I've met people that can do it, but you know, I'm talking away and they're talking at the same time I'm talking and they're like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But this is a moment. He's come to two moments. He said, long I stood. Now can you picture, can you feel what he's going through? What's he doing in this moment? Will I do that? Or will I do that? He's listening to himself. Now you get a deeper moment of this journey. Where is he taking us? This journey. Is he taking us on this physical journey? No. So it's a, what we would call an inner journey. And he's actually telling us how to go on an inner journey. Have you ever heard of the word meditation? Yeah. Okay. Now meditation is like an inner journey. He's going into this world within himself. And he's listening to himself. Who is doing this for him? So, again, to be in charge of one's journey, one, or we, let's be personal, need to listen to ourselves. We need to listen to us. It doesn't mean you should stop listening to your mother and father, okay? I didn't say that. <laughs> But eventually, you're going to have to decide things for yourself. When my father really didn't want me to be a teacher. I have to listen to me. Okay? When rock and roll music came out, way back in my day in the 50s, it was all this, no, we're going to do it our way. We're rocking the world. Okay? So the music you're listening to is everything is like this. Is that making sense so far? I lost anybody? Okay. Um, I'll do the next one. We'll go down to this resolution. Because we could keep going on the poem, yes? We could keep going. I'm just trying to show you how the structure of how this works. In the end, he says, two roads. Diverged, and I took the one less traveled. And we get this first person again, repetition. repetition of the eye. It's also what we call an extended metaphor because the road started at the, in the title that started in the first line and he's been extending this <coughs> metaphor about road. I mean, where is this road that he's on? <coughs> Wonderful. Alright, it's not the road out. Is that a road out there? Yeah. <laughs> is that a door? Okay. So the road is 
What is the road? The journey itself. And where does it lie? Within himself. You guys are good, that's great. So we're, you guys are jumping out here. I just want to know how you get it. When you have to, let's pretend you have to write a paragraph. <clears throat> and you have to write an essay. Let's just pretend someone might ask you to do an essay. Do an essay. Okay. They might ask that question. <laughs> yeah. But when you answer it, I want to know where did you get it? How did you learn this? When you write an answer. And I'll show you how to do that after we learn something. Okay. So we get this. So has he solved his problem or not? By the end of the poem, did he solve the problem? Did he, did he make a choice? Yeah. Okay. He solved the problem. Doesn't mean problems are going to go away, by the way. Probably bigger ones as they go. Um, but basically, he realizes. Um, the life he has led came from his choices. That choice he made, he made these personally. I didn't write all that down, but he, he made this personal choice, and that's been his life. And he realizes he's understanding that he made those. Now, that mind, if we're going, if a teacher gets arguments, and teachers between teachers should argue, there's one word in here, I, I don't want to argue about this, but we could, I'd love to. It says, I shall be telling, uh, I doubt if I have I shall be telling this with a sigh. Yes. I should be telling this with a sigh. Either you can argue that you feel the sigh is he's sort of um, upset about something, or he's quite at peace with something. It's how you take it. So what makes this subject a little different, a little, let's say, than mass, is in this one there's a feeling, and it's up to you to feel it. Yeah, I don't know how you argue 2 plus 2 equals 5. I don't know how you do that. Okay, you tend to think, oh, there is an answer, right or wrong. But in this one, it's, up, it's kind of up to you to be in charge of your own decision-making about what do you feel. Do you want me to tell you how to feel? Or do you want to be in charge of your feelings? That's a rhetorical question. Okay. Um, Personally, I felt he felt satisfied. That's my own purpose. But you can agree, disagree, it doesn't matter. It's what you feel. Um, from this tone, self-satisfaction. Yeah, although some, some will feel regret. Okay, it, it's up to you. But as long as we're on the same page, at least we know it's within himself. Yeah? He's, he's been on this road. The whole poem is in this inner journey. Okay. What do I learn? What does he learn? You see, if you want to learn something from a story, try to find out what the character learned or didn't learn. If you're going to write a story, have something you want to teach from your character. What does your character learn or not? Yeah, so what does, what does he learn that applies to all of us? Choices. Yeah, what does he learn about that? Personal choices. We're trying to learn, I mean, how many of us want to be satisfied with our lives? <coughs> or how many of you want to have regret in your lives? You see? And he teaches us one or the other. 
Yet, he teaches us personal, what do personal choices have to do with self-satisfaction? Oh. <coughs> you jumped out here. The choices we make, make us who we are. You jumped right out there. What a wonderful thing to, maybe you already knew it. <coughs> yeah? Personal choices um, help us Help us to <coughs> accept. Self-satisfaction is about accepting. Who we are. That's kind of what I was thinking. Do all of you accept who you are? You don't have to answer that. <coughs> you know? Self-acceptance. Does that make sense? He's teaching us about something about self-acceptance. I may jump this not true, too, but does that make sense? Because I know a lot of people, they're not happy with themselves. And I'm, some things about me I'm not real happy about. Yeah? But what does a journey, now you're in the, remember, this is the higher level. What does a journey have to do with self-acceptance? I'll leave that to you guys. Okay? But that's really, that's very nice if you look at start now. Because the journey, think about a journey. You're all going to go, we're all on a journey in life. Yeah? It's just, have we gone on the inner journey? Go back to it's kind of this reflection, this self-satisfaction, or not. And then he makes this statement. In charge of the journey, 
Do you know this word out here? Why is it so important that you, what are you learning when you make your own decisions? What do they help you become? I know you're saying who we are. What do they help, what's so good? And this is a hard question. What's so good about being, yeah? Independent. I didn't think of that one. I thought of <laughs> self reliance. Yeah? Do you feel that now? That's beautiful. Now, if you could put that in one sentence about a journey. So I'll leave it there. It's okay to leave you blank. It's okay not to know everything. There's a couple of words I try to teach my year 12s. I teach ESL, English as a second language. Kids who don't speak a lot of English. And maybe they have six months to about a year of English. But I do try to keep teach a couple words, teach a couple words, is who we are is a result of the choices we make. We become the product of our choices. If we don't make choices, we become that kind of person. If we make choices, we become that kind of person. Yeah? So what is a choice? I know we said decision, but what, what's... I almost feel like talking about the <laughs> What's the importance of a choice? What does it do for us? <laughs> if you're saying it's helping us become independent, what's so good about being independent? What's this mean to be in charge? Control? If someone is in charge, what do they have? Authority. Authority. Sorry? Freedom. Oh, freedom? <laughs> How do we gain, oh, I haven't asked this before. How do I gain the freedom? Do we all want freedom in our lives? Why? <laughs> how do I get it? What is he showing us about having the freedom to become the people, person I want to become? Is this making sense? Do I look like I'm nuts or something? Freedom. A choice is what empowers freedom. We sometimes it's a big responsibility. But when I when I have a choice, I'm empowered. If somebody else is making the choice for me, who's in power? Who has the authority, the control? <coughs> yeah, if you do it for yourself. Down here, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to gain and this is the concept.
Self-determination. I don't know if you know that word, or two words, but hyphenated. But this power, this freedom of self-determination, yeah, is the choice is what allowed him to become the person he wanted to be, and that made all the difference. So self-determination equals, sorry, I'm doing this. Um, the self self satisfaction, yeah, all for himself. What is it equal? Self determination made all the difference. It makes life significant. You see, he's really teaching about how many of you want a life that is significant? How many of you want a life that's kind of has some importance in it? We all, I think we all want that. I don't care about my life here. You see, this is universal. He, he's created through this poem, this form of writing, something that represents something for all of us. And he wrote it like, over a hundred, you know, a long time ago, I don't know the date, a long time ago. And he wrote it that long ago, and yet it still works. In music, have you ever heard of a one-hit wonder? Yeah, they write a song, and you would think, oh, great, last time a week. <laughs> you hear it once. Yeah. Well, this is not quite your one-hit wonder. It's something that people have always pondered it. They've wondered about his writing. Here is now how alarm works. This is the matrix. Alright? And I'm going to time to do it. But I wouldn't mind my teacher trying it with you. I see some faces going on. Oh, no, I can see tones and faces. What's he going to say next? How alarm works? It's two sided. I've just given you a template or a pattern of learning. Yeah? I try to go from story as deep as I can think, yeah, as deep as you guys can think, yeah, and feel. So we've, we've tried to cover the whole gamut of learning. Why should I learn about poetry? Why should I learn, let me ask you this, I asked it this year 12, why should I learn, this literature, why should I learn from literature? answer that? But remember I asked it. Okay. When you go to write an answer, okay, you've learned something. Yes? And what I say is, whatever you learn last, the deepest you can go. is what we call a synthesis. We put all these pieces of parts together like a puzzle, and we put it together in an idea. One idea. Does that make sense? Do you ever feel like you go into a classroom, and you feel like you're getting a piece of the puzzle, but you don't know what you're supposed to do with it? I mean, at the beginning, did you know where I was headed or what I was doing? So I was like giving you pieces of the puzzle, hopefully, hopefully, coming up with some big picture idea. Okay? And that's what we call a synthesis. We put the pieces of the puzzle together into a whole. Yeah? <coughs> Your task in a test or when you want to teach, if you want to teach, anybody want to teach? You want to teach. Alright? You take whatever it is you did the deepest you could go and you put it first. That's all. You take your synthesis and you make it your thesis. 
or in science they say a hypothesis. <laughs> you put it first. Does that matter? So all of this down here, if you could write that into a sentence. Answering a question, then what you do is you put that as sentence. This becomes, since although it's last, you put it first. Yeah? And then what do you think you do next? You just work it across, and these become your sentences underneath. And you write your paragraph. So that's like sentence one. Sentence two, three, four, five, six. You might have to skip it. Da, 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 da. You already written your answer. Does that anybody did I lose you? It's not. It's not hard. If I were to color it, if I were to color this, and I do have color coatings, yeah. I don't know if any of you think of color. I would kind of go brown. <laughs> Blue, feeling maybe pink and purple, maybe red. Let's call that green. <coughs> because you now green is like two colors that join together, like a yellow and a blue. It's a brand new idea. Green. Green. And if you can link it to life, I didn't mean to do it this way when I did it, I have the gold. I answer the question, so I have green and gold. When you write an answer, your answer should be a rainbow. All the colors that you learn from should be present in your answer. Take that first, the gold, and then these just work it through. Yeah? You'll learn how to learn how to. You can do this in any order or shape you want to. Yeah, that's your pattern. That's the way you learn. You can go from here, you can go to feeling, technique, you'll learn how to do that. But that's basically how you write a paragraph or an essay is doing it that way. And that's how alarm works. Whatever you learn is brought back. That's why I say in this subject, we want to know what you think. What did you learn? Just show me, teach me, where did you get it? Justify it, prove it, teach me, show me. Yeah, how did you get that big idea?
GE, PhD, and sciences. We're looking at the positives and negatives. Because when you guys were here, this long guy stood and you said you're contemplating. I am trying to decide on the positives or the negatives. The highest order skill that you're trying to, well, like, is, let's go over here. I'm trying to decide and evaluate something. Yeah? So in alarm, I, I came up with the level of evaluate everything. How good is it? How good did it work? Yeah? Don't use the word good, but you see what I mean. Yeah? So I was saying, why is this good for me? But I come up to this level of appreciate. Why should I learn this? You know, I, I told him yesterday, does my wife truly appreciate me? Do, I, do my kids appreciate me? Do you appreciate your mother and father? Yeah? I ask these kids who come from another country, why is it good to belong to a family? And they look at me and go, uh, <laughs> why is it so good to belong to a family? That's like your 12 question. And I'm right down here. <laughs> because I told them only about 32 out of 3,700 are going to be able to answer that in the state. This question, when I was getting down here, and you guys are doing it, is about 10% out of, I don't know how many sat advanced English last year. Well, actually, this was all kids in year 12 will be doing this, what we call area study. And I'd say 10 to 12% out of 60, 70,000 will come up with that answer. You guys did it. I wasn't holding back. <laughs> now some things you'll have to learn will be deeper concepts, okay? But if you learn this process, you're going to get up to those, those higher range. I think it's more fun. I was having really fun playing with your brains <laughs> but, uh, and feelings. Yeah, and it should be fun. So science looks a little different because it is, you know, I don't know if you're and I have not figured out maths. I don't know. I haven't figured out a alarm table for maths. Go figure. But anyway, uh, I hope to. I'm not giving up. But that's a good question. Any other questions? Enjoy it. Does it make sense? There's nothing new. Okay? It's just bringing some alignment to your learning. Just put, put things in place. Sometimes, I don't know, when I was learning, I was like, what's he talking about? Where does it fit in? Now, possibly a state of confusion. What's going on? You know, until I could figure out, wait, put it in order. And you know, I'm just trying to be a good teacher and trying to help people learn something. So yeah.